Thank you for joining us on InfoLive TV headline news for January 23rd. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Some 350,000 Palestinians poured out of Gaza and into Egypt early Wednesday after mass gunmen blew dozens of holes in the wall, destroying two-thirds of the metal barrier that separates Gaza from Egypt. Gazans rushed to purchase food, fuel and other supplies made scarce by Israel's blockade of the Strip. Towards nightfall, they began returning to Gaza. Speaking at the Cairo Book Fair, Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak announced Wednesday that he had ordered his troops to allow Palestinians to cross into Egypt from Gaza because they were starving. Hamas Damascus-based political leader Khaled Mashal said Wednesday that his organization would be willing to work to resolve the chaotic situation on the Gaza-Egypt border but only if the border is placed under exclusive Palestinian and Egyptian control. Mashal added that the struggle must continue until the entire siege on the Strip is lifted and all of Palestine is liberated. An alternative Winograd report released Wednesday, written by bereaved families of IDF soldiers who were killed in the Second Lebanon War, called on Prime Minister Hodolma to resign due to his failure in handling the war. The Prime Minister cannot remain at his post even one day longer due to his great failure. He should have resigned immediately after the last soldier left Lebanese soil, the families declared. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad said Wednesday that the United Nations Security Council cannot threaten Iran or impose any sanctions on it. The Iranian news agency reported. Ahmadinejad was responding to reports saying the Security Council, whose members met in Berlin Tuesday, had decided to call for a third round of sanctions against Iran. Iran has been very cooperative with the International Atomic Energy Agency, and no one but them has the right to interfere in Iran's nuclear program, Ahmadinejad said. And Israeli sports star tennis player Shah Peir does it again. Peir advanced to the doubles final at the Australian Open Wednesday night local time with her partner Belarusian Victoria Zanalka, becoming the first Israeli woman to ever reach the finals of a Grand Slam tournament. It is a great achievement for me, said Peir. Later stories on InfoLive TV include... Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from Gaza flood into Egypt after a border fence detonated and torn down. And Faces of Jerusalem, a Christian cleric and an Arab resident reveal their views on Israel's capital city. And residents of the Negev town of Stirot express their anguish and despair over the government's failure to provide them with security. And that's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website, broadcasting in four languages from Jerusalem to the world. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.